We speak a lot of words every day. Sometimes I think we can just take them for granted because we speak so many words, we hear so many words. And yet in the gospel today, we see something very different. Jesus speaks some words. He says, as for you, your sins are forgiven. And those words are different than any other words because they're backed up by divine power. Jesus has the divine power to forgive sin. And those who are listening to him find it kind of blasphemous because only God can forgive sins, they said. Of course, we know that Jesus is God. But at the same time, he says, so that you know that I have the power to do this, I say to this paralyzed man, get up, pick up your mat, and walk home. And immediately the man is cured of his paralysis. Those words have power. And Jesus is saying that his words to forgive sin to contain that divine power, and he proves it by the physical cure. You and I don't have the physical cures um, happening for us with the words we hear. And at the same time, we hear those words of Jesus even today with divine power in the confessional. I absolve you from your sins. Through the words of the priest, it's the divine power of God that forgives our sins. At the altar, this is my body, this is my blood. And the power of those words, that bread and wine, actually becomes the body and blood of Christ. You and I can say what we read in the last line of the gospel today, we have seen and heard incredible things today. This is my body, this is my blood. So those words are still with us, the powerful words of Jesus that we spoke <clears throat> at the time of creation, God said, let there be light, and there was light. In the time of salvation, Jesus says, your sins are forgiven, and they are forgiven. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.